When you first go to the drug screening form, you must determine what workflow you're doing. If you're screening the specimen in office, you do an instant cup. If you're sending the specimen out to an external lab, you do a lab confirmation. When you click the instant cup button, it automatically analyzes the patient's insurance and instructs you accordingly. From there, you get into the actual instant cup screen where you will see the patient's diagnoses and then a short list of um, common diagnoses used with this form. Uh, you must pick at least one item out of either box. The provider of the order should automatically be selected, but if it isn't, you can always change it here. If you're doing a standard cup, you can click the cup button, which will automatically select the drugs for you. From there, after doing the screening, you can record the results of the individual drugs here, as well as record the results on whether uh, they're compliant or if you need to send it out to an external lab to get a confirmation. If it's compliant, this red button shows up. Once you click the red button, it will generate an order for you. If, the, if you do need to send it to an external lab, a button shows up which will take you to the lab confirmation. On the lab confirmation screen, if you did an instant cup, the drugs you use screen for and the results will show up, as well as the results you recorded. If you did not do an instant cup, those areas would be uh, invisible. If you need a confirmation of three drugs or less, please use the confirmation section. If you need to do more than three drugs, please look at our uh, preset panels, which does a confirmation and a full screening. You can do a panel as well as an additional confirmation if the need arises. Once you have selected the panel you need and the confirmations, you can click the Add Text and Bill for Lab Confirmation button. That will automatically generate the order, print off a handout, and if you did an instant cup, it will also uh, generate an instant cup code with the proper modifier, depending on if you only did a confirmation or if you did a screening as well. If you forget any of the steps of this walkthrough, you can always review the walkthrough by clicking this blue help button.